If Damascus is serious about accepting millions of its refugees back home, it has some serious rebuilding to do. Boroughs, villages and small towns like the one over there in the province of Homs have been completely razed from the face of the earth by the war. That's why factories like this one are crucial. Most Syrian cities have to survive amid a chaotic and unstable power supply. We've been told that when anti-Assad fighters captured this facility, they looted it clean for equipment and left it badly damaged. It's fully operational now. But lack of power, of course, isn't the worst that Syrians have had to endure. I swear we were dying of hunger. One kilo of bread for 1,000 lira. You have to eat, otherwise you starve to death. We ate only rice and bulgur, nothing else. We were living in hunger and poverty. We would wake up in the morning not knowing how to manage to get our daily food. Children suffered malnutrition. A 10-year-old girl looked like a 2-year-old. Throughout the war, some parts of Syria have seen, well, horrific famine. But it would have been much, much worse if it wasn't for the incredibly fertile soil. And that's why here, some branches of the trees are actually broken under the weight of peaches. Advanced agriculture and international aid is helping to put food back on people's plates. So now, with the fighting contained to small pockets, Syrians can treat themselves to something nice. This ice cream plant has even had a go with its own interpretation of the Oreo recipe. Yet all of this is great on paper, but doesn't help much if delivery trucks have no roads to drive on. There's just over 40 kilometers between the cities of Homs and Hama. A trip that should have taken somewhat 30 minutes would stretch up to six hours. See, with this bridge destroyed, commuters had to gamble with their lives, taking long detours through jihadis' territories. This newly paved highway has brought the drive back to well under an hour. This market in Homs is more than 2,000 years old. It has seen many things, and this civil war is not the worst of those it has survived through. And it is hoped that the rest of the country will follow its model. Amigar Zhdanov reporting from Syria for RT. Amid the mass reconstruction efforts, there is also room for artistic work. These artists once lived in a refugee camp near Damascus but had to flee when they came under attack. With the area now back under government control, they return to depict the aftermath of the fighting. They say they want to leave a record for future generations of what happened at the camp and what they went through.